Hi, I'm Ned Ned Nurb the Schizophrenic. You could also call me Ned Ned Nurb the Epileptic. You could call me Ned Ned Nurb the Recovering Drug User. You could call me Ned Ned Nurb the Chronically Pained. You could call me Ned Ned Nurb the University Graduate. You could call me Ned Ned Nurb the Good Friend. All those sorts of things. They're all real parts of me. Imagine waking up and going through a day in the life in anyone's shoes. <laughs> the incredible strength required to be meek. Waking up like as soon as I wake up, the pain and the epilepsy kind of converge into a ah, all throughout my body. I learned at yoga that there's this somatic shake kind of thing that um, I've been carefully learning and it's kind of connected to something I do anyway, just to like shake myself out of sleep, shake myself into the waking day. It's hard to wake up sometimes. It's hard for anyone to wake up sometimes. That's what people say, right? It's hard for a epileptic with chronic pain racking their nerves and body and I have to get water, I have to get to the washroom, I have to get food, I have to get to my work meeting to afford this place and the other health stuff that keeps me going pretty much at all. I have to keep going, keep going, keep going, full steam ahead, full steam ahead just to make it here. So I start hearing some screaming and honking outside. I have just returned to bed for a few more minutes of relaxation, maybe before, you know, completely turning on the computer and honking, screaming, noise. <laughs> just a normal day. You know, after the work meeting that happens in the morning, maybe I'll go outside for a little walk, try to clear the head, get some air, see the light. And, you know, <laughs> look at those cars rushing around the corners. They're hitting the gas as fast as they can so they can get around the corner and hit the brake as hard as they can. Because in this grid system, you can only get so far ahead before you have to stop. No one's going to have a clear route out of a downtown core into a suburb for like five kilometers. You're not gonna have nothing but green lights. But I'm getting yelled at for trying to be safe. Yeah, look at me. I am I seem to be able, I can move around, I can walk, etc. I can lift something. Epilepsy means for me, for instance, the noise and rush of a street corner and the anxiety I feel when my experience is people yelling at me for trying to cross the street safely. I have a lot of anxiety. I'm looking around and people get more angry. It makes me slow down even more, makes me cautious, makes me want what's going on. And like I said, the rush is to for me to get just barely out of the way, barely out of the way. And then I hear the zhoom and the acceleration and then the quick break because the next light is red. The next light could always be red instead of maybe green. People would be more safe in general. So, there I am, <laughs> just trying to cross the street, etc. trying to, you know, look like this as I cross the street in a male-dominated, patriarchal, sexist society. I'm very socially unacceptable by many, and that increases the risk of being honked at. Sometimes when I walk with a white person beside me, white people walk past 
both of us. And they don't try to push myself and the other person who's white off the path. When I walk with a person of color, white people will walk past and walk directly into my path, expecting us to jump out of the way. Like, pop, 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 pop. get out of their way, get out of their way. They have the right of way. It's strange. You just notice these things. Because day to day in my daily life, I have some clue of the historical stuff. <laughs> Oh, gosh. The historical stuff. I'm not even going to go there right now because that's another day story. <laughs> it takes them more than one day to tell that story, doesn't it? So trying to think of responses to it all. I've gotten back home from my walk around. Just tried to get some snack. Just tried to say hello. Just tried to see the water, just tried to feel the air. The air wasn't clean, the water wasn't clean. Ugh, I digress, trying to think of responses to it all. I don't want to be angry, I don't want to yell at people, but I hear the screaming in my ear. I see the anger on people's faces when they're honking on the horn. See, I just got into that like, like gesture, the mannerism of anger. I don't want to feel angry. Trying to connect this to history, trying to be meek myself, not angry. The incredible strength required to be meek. It's not a matter of setting the record straight or flipping the enemy off right so they get off your back. There are no metaphors left for what the idioms have done. Trying to settle down, just be calm. Like, like there's mental calm, there's physical calm, there's emotional calm. <sighs> there's so many calms. In my case, I also have a physical state of plasma, the electrical one. And it's like, <laughs> the, the epileptic, right? It's like <laughs> physical, emotional, and mental convergence where it's all connected. <sighs> and it might be the end of my day again. And there I am just trying to fall asleep. It's like, ouch, 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 ouch. Just trying to fall asleep. The incredible strength required to be meek. Well, like I said, I'm Ned Ned Nerb, the schizophrenic epileptic, chronic pain, neuro-semantic professional. I'm gonna take your bad ideas and get them out of here. And I'm gonna try to pull in, you know, the good ideas. And I'm gonna try to be calm. because there are so many places to be, so many sights to see, so many codes to switch into. I have to walk out the door and get down the elevator or stairs sometimes. Even that's a trip. Oh my gosh. Standing beside uncomfortable people in the elevator? Like, I mean, I have a lot of mental health and physiological issues and symptoms. 
But people who are socially awkward and mean, it's not nice to stand beside them.